Yes, we are aware of this recombinant. It's a combination of Delta AY.4 and Omicron BA.1. It's been detected, but there are very low levels of this detection. The recombinant itself, this is something that is expected given the a large amount of circulation, the intense amount of circulation that we saw with both Omicron and Delta. And given the sheer number of changes and mutations within Omicron, it was much easier for researchers, scientists, public health professionals, people who are studying the genome to be able to detect these recombinants. We have not seen any change in the epidemiology with this recombinant. We haven't seen any change in severity, but there are many studies that are underway. Unfortunately, we do expect to see recombinants because this is what viruses do. They change over time. WHO has been aware of this because of our technical advisory group for virus evolution. So this is something that's on our radar. It's something that we are monitoring. So it's really critical that we have testing and it's really critical that we continue with sequencing, that we have good geographic representation of sequencing around the world, and that the systems that have been put in place for surveillance, for testing, for sequencing, right now be reinforced. These are the systems that we have in place, and so we will update you on any new information that we have as soon as we have it.